Hello and welcome, this is Greg French. Uh, today we're going to be looking at part image, and this is an update uh, to a video that I have already completed. Uh, this is going to be image creation and restoring part one. In part one, we're going to be just looking at the commands, uh, giving you some of the windows and some of the commands that you're going to need for both creating an image and restoring an image. Uh, I know some of some of you have had some difficulties with part image, so we're hoping that uh, this part one and part two might help uh, help to give you some more insights and be more successful with part image. It's a good program, fast program, pretty much a clone of uh, Norton, Norton Ghost, and it works well. I, I've used it quite a bit. Let's get started. Uh, first part here, the image creation. We need to open a terminal session. Now you need to get, I think I'm using insert here, which is a Linux distribution. It has part image. Most of the Linux distributions do include part image. So you need to get a, a, a Linux distribution, uh, preferably one that is a live CD or self-booting so that you can run your computer just off the CD. Once you get it up and running, you need to open a terminal session. Generally, you can get to the terminal sessions by right-clicking on the desktop and then selecting terminal session. Uh, first thing we want to, first command we want to type in is mkdir space forward slash backup. This will create a backup directory. Uh, it's going to be in RAM because it's going to be a part of the Linux. Uh, but we're going to use this backup directory as a pointer uh, or as a substitute for putting, putting our images back onto the hard drive. So we need to do this. Uh, here you see the mkdir slash uh, backup and this is in the terminal session. So that's the command you need to write. Just press enter and it will take that command. Uh, second terminal session, we need to open up a second terminal session. And this one we're going to use to actually run part image. So the command we need to run in the second terminal session is SUDO for super user do. It's a doing command. Puts you in uh, root, which is just like administrative rights, and space part image. And this will actually start up part image. So here's your command again in the terminal session. Again, press enter. This is a second terminal session. And this is the first screen that you get once part image starts up. It goes ahead and interrogates the drive and it finds that there is HDA1, HDA2, 5, and 6. 5 and 6 would be the logical drives. 1 and 2 would be the or the would be the, the first two partitions. HDA1 is your primary partition. You can see it's an NTFS file system. HDA2 is an extended partition with two logical uh, partitions in that or two logical drives. Um, if you have serial drives, the H will be replaced with an S for serial drive, S-D-A. We're going to take H HDA6, which is our second logical partition, and we're going to use that to store our images from our primary partition. And we're going to use backup as a redirectory to direct those images to be put into HDA6. And we'll show you how to do that. Now, image creation, the first, uh, the type in, in the first terminal session, this command. This is going to be a mount command. We're going to mount this device here, HDA6. And that is that logical drive, which is in that extended partition. That's, again, where we're going to put our images. So mount space dash T space VFAT. Now, VFAT just happens to be the file system, FAT32 file system that I'm using with this logical drive. You might very well be using NTFS, so you need to substitute this with NTFS if uh, if your file system. I'm going to go back. You can see these are FAT32 uh, file systems on these two logical drives. It's very likely that yours might be NTFS. If they are, you need to put NTFS in there. So VFAT space. That's again, it's a forward slash DEV for device. Everything within Linux is a device. Another forward slash. HDA6. Again, if you have a serial drive, it'd probably be SDA6. Space uh, forward slash backup. That is going to mount this device, that partition, and it's going to redirect uh, everything from backup to this device. So we'll use backup as just kind of a pointer to get things to go into this device here. And here's your command in that uh, terminal session. You can see we first type this command, press enter, and now we type this command, press enter. Now back in our 
part image, which is in our second terminal. We're going to go ahead down here. To, we're selecting HDA1 as our partition that we're going to be uh, saving or making an image of. And this is going to be the name of the image, WinXP, and we're uh, going to put that file into the backup directory. And the backup directory is actually going to HDA6. So the action here is going to be asterisk in front of the save partition. So we're saving the partition. That's going to be an image of this partition. And we're going to put it into backup and we're calling it WinXP. Uh, now restoring. Now that we've created that image, now we need to restore. It's pretty much the same thing. We're selecting the HDA1 again because this is where we're going to restore that image to, replacing any operating system on that primary partition. Again, it's going to be in the backup, but this time we're going to use uh, WinXP.000. Now, 000 was added by part image. Uh, it adds that so that if you continue to make uh, backups or images of WinXP, it will begin to increment. The next one will be 001, 002, so forth. So we need to remember to put 000 in here in order for it to be able to recognize the file since it has that extension. Next down here, the action, we're going to go ahead and move down one here with our arrow. Go ahead and, and press the space bar to set this asterisk so that we restore the partition from the file image run this and we should get a restore. Now in the next uh, part two I'm actually going to run the program and show you how we use these commands to run the program. But that's it for now. Thank you very much for your time.